Hey, it's Michael. Um, oh, talking about binding. I don't like binding. I bind because I really don't like that my chest isn't what it should be. In my mind. Um, I use an underworks binder. Um, double front. Full length. Um, I tuck it into my underwear. Put my, you know, put my underwear over it. Put my jeans over it or pants over it. The bottom. So it doesn't curl up when I wear it. Um, a trick my friend taught me early on was uh, lift your chest and separate. You know, lift and separate. Um, that works really well because then you don't look like you've got a lump in the middle of your front. Um, it looks more like pecs, so that's important. Um, when I first started binding, I was um, doing drag performance, and um, I used a, a tensor bandage, and that that hurts like hell. It hurts, it hurts your ribs. It hurts, uh, it hurts your chest. It just hurts. Um, and it also slips. You're constantly having to adjust it and stuff, and it's a pain in the ass. Um, sometimes it'll go so far as to come off if you're moving too much. Um, I don't like swimming without a binder on, but I also don't like swimming with a binder on, so I don't swim much. I know that they um, have these like compression suits or whatever. They're kind of pricey and... Uh, I find that it's more noticeable when you wear them, like you stand out, you stick out like a sore thumb, so anytime I've gone swimming where I wasn't surrounded by like all bodies, people, like basically people who are just don't care and they're queer and they're trans or they're gender queer or what have you, if I'm not in that crowd of people, um, I'll wear a binder, like the one I would wear every day and I'll, and a t-shirt over it and tuck it into my swim trunks because, you know, I'm just not comfortable. Um, I will not go without binding, though. You know, I bind. When I get up in the morning, I put my binder on. And when I get home, I keep it on, um, you know, until around bedtime, and then I'll roll around in my, you know, run around my house in my underwear and my t-shirt, but seriously, like, the binder's on. Um, I'm on a waiting list to have top surgery, because, you know, I don't, I, I don't feel comfortable with what I've got, so. Binding saves me the hassle of being uncomfortable. Um... I even wear, uh, you know, I wear a binder when I when I go to the gym. You know, I, I won't take it off. It's, you know, yes, I sweat in it. Yes, it's gross. Da 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 da. You know, I I deal with it. Uh, I go home and take it off. I I swap it for a clean one. Put it through the wash. Um. I'm trying to think what else. There is to say about it. Oh, there isn't much more I want to say about it. Honestly, it's one of those things I don't like talking about, really. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's just not something I like to talk about. <laughs> uh,. But, uh, yeah, binding is valuable. It's valuable. You know, it's, I don't recommend ever sleeping with a binder on. I've done it. I've done it half a dozen times just due to situation or whatever. And uh, it's really rib crushing. So even even a good binder is still rib crushing. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Oh, something that's really helpful if you don't know how to breathe from your diaphragm and you wear a binder learn how because uh it it's really 
you can really crush your your uh, you can really crush your ribs. Uh, like what I mean by crush is like have permanent disfiguration and bruising. Um, so learn learn to learn to breathe. You know through your tummy like like vocalists do like singers do like um like for instance i studied um classical singing you know opera singing so i learned how to do that a long time ago but google it youtube it look it up it's it's valuable information it's really helpful for for not uh for having less impact on on your body when you're wearing uh, when you're wearing a binder, um, I mean if you got if you if you've got if you're on the larger side of things, up top, you know often wearing um, a double front isn't enough, and you need to wear a double front plus you know a single over top or whatever, or you wear a you know, one of those back braces over your chest, and then wear a double front bind. Sometimes people are tiny, so they have to wear an extra small binder. You know, different things work for different people. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's just one of those things, you know. If you're dysphoric about your chest, you're going to wear a binder. Um, and uh, I definitely fit in that category. I don't like people looking at my chest. I never did. Um, even now, if somebody's staring at my chest, I get uncomfortable. And it might just they might just be, you know, admiring what looks like pecs, but it still makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> um, you know, so I wear a binder, and it's important to me. I just don't really want to talk about it. Yeah. So, um... That's all I gotta say about that.